Capacity and time. Let's look at a practical problem dealing with capacity. You visit Bayard Meat Market in Chinatown in New York City, and you want to buy sea cucumbers for $8.99 a pound and some fresh squid for $2.59 a pound. If you buy 2.4 pounds of sea cucumbers and 3.8 pounds of fresh squid, how much do they cost altogether? Purchase 2.4 pounds of sea cucumbers at $8.99 a pound. Let's put that into our calculator. That's clear at first, $8.99 times 2.4 pounds equals, now we have a very convenient tool, the memory plus. And that will take that number, $21.57 or 58 cents, and put it into its memory. And you see up there is the word memory. That tells us now that the calculator has that number in memory. Now let's get the next number. It's the fresh squid is... $2.59 times 3.8 pounds equals, and that's again $9.84, again memory plus, now both numbers are added together. Now we want to recall the memory. What do those two numbers equal to? And it's $31.42. As you can see, the memory keys are very convenient to use. Now, notice what happens. When I press the clear button here, the memory word is up there. And your calculator might just have M or some kind of a symbol. But this calculator still has those numbers in memory. If I use that again, there's going to be an error. So you have to make sure that your calculator does not have any numbers in its memory. So find the button on this one. I'll press memory clear and you can see now my memory is empty. <laughs> this is the Great Wall of China. They began building the Great Wall in the 5th century before Christ and they continued building it until the 17th century. Its full length is 6,353 kilometers. The average height of the wall is 10 meters and 5 meters wide. What is the length in miles of the Great Wall and what is its height and width in feet? The width of the United States is approximately 2,680 miles. Let's figure it out. Before we figure out this problem, I took this video footage of this great wall, and it's an amazing sight to see this here wall, and to think of the length when I went to the web and did a little research on the wall, and the wall's length is 6,353 kilometers. And we want to find out, compared to the United States, is the width of the United States, of course, the coast to coast, it varies, but it's about 2,680 miles. And so we want to compare the length of that wall of China to the United States, but this is in miles and this is in kilometers. Now, the kilometer, one kilometer, equals 0.6214 miles. So we have to then convert the kilometer into miles or we can convert the United States into kilometers, but we'll convert the kilometer into miles because we usually think of miles here in the United States. So that would be 6,353 kilometers times 0.6214 equals, and so it's 3,000 940, and we'll round it up to eight, eight miles. So that gives you an idea then, and I could put a comma in these two also make it easier to read if you want to. That gives you an idea how big that wall is.
The United States is 2,680, and this is 3,948. Let's say about 4,000 miles, and it's about one and a half times the size of the United States. And built back way back in the fifth century, it started, and and it's done by hand. You, you just can't imagine building a wall like that. And the next question is, well, how high is the wall? And how wide is the wall? And again, one meter equals 3.281 feet. So we have to convert that to 10, and that would be easy to do. The 10 we just multiply would be 32.81 feet. When you multiply by 10, all you have to do is take the decimal point and bring it over one. And so that would be the, the height of the wall. It's about a little over 30 feet. And so five times 3.281, let's clear the calculator. 3.281 times five equals, and so it would be by 16.4 feet. So the width is about 16. Point four, about 16 and a half feet wide. So by able to use the conversion, and I got this on the web, I went on the web and found out what the conversion of kilometer and meter, and a lot of books have it also. And you're able to give you a little better understanding of the, the length and the height and the width of that great wall in China. This is a cruise ship traveling in the Pacific Ocean. The average speed of the ship was 20.7 knots per hour. What is the speed of the ship in miles per hour? Here we see the people enjoying the beautiful weather. Let's figure the problem out. Now the average speed of the cruise ship is 20.7 knots per hour. And that's why boats, they don't say they go so many miles per hour. Uh, boats go, they travel how many knots per hour? And the question is, what is the speed of the ship in miles per hour? Now, I got the, what one knot is in feet. Now I could have done it in, in instead of feet, I could have done it in how many miles per hour, but I didn't. I purposely used feet, so we have a little more difficult calculation here. And this actually is a more accurate measurement then because it's 6,076.12 feet per hour is one knot. <clears throat> and one mile equals 5,280 feet. So what we got to do then, we got to convert this 20.7 knots per hour into how many miles per hour. That's what we want to find out. This is what we're looking for, miles per hour. So we're going to convert this, first of all, one knot equals 6,076.12 feet per hour. So we're going to multiply 20.7, 20.7 times how many feet per hour, one knot equals, times 6,000. 76.12 equals. And that's how many feet now that that per hour that ship is traveling. Now we have to divide that by 5,280 feet to get our answer. Divide that by 5280 equals. So the answer is 23.82 miles per hour. So the ship traveling 20.7 knots per hour is traveling 23.82 miles per hour. So you can see that when, it's, when you see knots, you know if they're going to go convert to miles per hour, it's going to be a little bit faster when you're traveling miles per hour than knots per hour. Keep up the good work. After completing the problems on this page, take the test. And don't forget, double check your work. We have also provided double check and triple check additional help and tests to help you master this unit. Please work the problems and take the test in your workbook. Number success, the practical way to learn.